you brought up the great problem with being an actor, especially in the United States, which is if you have to have jobs and if you have to become famous in order to get jobs and have, yeah. you know, some sort of job security, in doing that, maybe you maybe you give up the greatest thing about why you wanted to do it in the first yeah, place. Yeah, it's, it's a hard balance. And because there's a lot of fear, especially when you're unemployed. And yeah. I, I got to say, I was, you know, I'm 33. I've been doing this professionally since I was 21, 22. And I, I for over a decade, I, I paid my rent and nobody n knew who I was. And I got to do loads of interesting parts. And I was really proud of that, the kind of being able to have my solid anonymity. Actor. Yeah, and, and I had my stints in pubs and I had my really bizarre temporary jobs, some of them traumatizing. Um, but I I I was working and I and I was so proud of that and it was all I ever wanted to do. And I was very um, I wasn't really interested in visibility and I know that sounds like bullshit, but it was true. I, I didn't want any of the noise around it. I, I was never under any delusion that with fame comes joy or you're gonna get to the other side of something and and that's gonna be your answer. I, I, I am a curious person and I'm searching, but I was pretty sure that the answer didn't li lie in that. In and fame and fortune. Yeah, and no, and, and, uh, and I saw a lot of my friends become really famous really quickly and that being really difficult and and not being able to get their anonymity back or their freedom. But equally, I was playing these great parts in, in the West End and on Broadway. And, right. and then you realize, oh, now movie stars are doing all these parts. And, and, and I was nervous that if I don't do something that has some kind of visibility, these parts are going to stop happening as well. Right, that weird paradox yeah. of, of having to become famous to be anonymous. I know, I know, I know. Like having to become famous like, to do off-Broadway. Like to get a name Broadway. so that you can, yeah. <laughs> yeah. To go back to working for 600 bucks a week, yeah. And you know, it's, I don't know, I, I'm, it's, it's an interesting ride, this. And with Barry, it took three years. It, from, I auditioned in January 2016, and then it finally aired, 2018. And yeah, it was a, it was a trip uh, having it be something that was available suddenly for consumption. Which obviously, I want people to watch the show. <laughs> I didn't want to do it in a vacuum, and I didn't. You know, we're not we're not doing it just Damn, to watch I'm it together famous. and have a pizza party. <laughs> um, so I'm delighted that it's been so well received. I, I couldn't be more delighted. And and talking about job security, I mean, we just got a third season, and I. That for me, that's, you know, I've never had that kind of job security in my life. But it is, there's aspects to it that are nerve wracking. I take the subway, you know, I want to keep taking the subway. It's, it's, it's definitely a different experience. Hey folks, thanks for watching. If you like what you just saw, then why not subscribe? Click right here for lots more off camera. And if you want to see the hour-long version of these conversations, I'm going to give you the secret link. Here it is, offcamera.com. Check it out.